Unfortunately, it was becoming a familiar scene. A dead golden eagle found beneath a power pole. The bird had attempted to use the power pole as a perch and had been electrocuted. Idaho Power Company and other utilities joined together to find a solution. They went to Moreland Nelson, one of the world's leading experts on birds of prey. He found a young bird in a nest atop a transmission tower. Then began the long, slow process of training the young female. At the same time, they ran tests on eagle feathers. It took 70,000 volts to make a dry feather into a conductor. A wet feather at 5,000 volts conducted enough current to kill an eagle. Nelson filmed the bird in slow motion to see how the electrocution occurred. Of course, there was no current in the wires on this test pole. The film showed that the eagle's wings were long enough to make a connection between pairs of wires. They found that the larger high voltage towers were safe because the wires are too far apart for the wings of an eagle to touch at the same time. For the lower voltage poles, Nelson devised several types of protective measures, like this perch that could be installed above the wires. Because golden eagles perch on the highest places from which they are most likely to spot prey, only two out of every hundred poles had to be protected with the new perches. Today, utility companies can continue to transmit electricity without harming the mighty bird of prey, the golden eagle.